Hey everyone, so if you've been following Adidas Medicine, ticker EDIT, the company will soon be reporting data from their in vivo EDIT 101 CRISPR cure for blindness. In this video, we're going to be getting right into what you can expect from this report, how big and what the result means for the company. And at the end, we'll talk about how this could affect the stock price in the coming months. And if you're new here, I'm sure you can see the channel name. If investing in CRISPR companies like Edit interests you, you'll like this channel a lot. So definitely subscribe to keep up with future videos. And I will say that creating this content takes a huge amount of time and work. And if you want to help me keep this going, one easy and big way to do that is signing up for a free trial with a main partner of the channel, Benzinga. It costs $0 to do it, takes maybe one minute. And oh, by the way, gives you access to a premium investing tool. So if you're investing or a trader, you'll benefit in return. Now, to begin, this specific therapeutic is Edit 101, which is a potential cure for Liber Congenital Omerosis 10. Liber Congenital Omerosis itself is a number of inherited retinal degenerative disorders and the most common type of inherited blindness in kids, with 3 per 100,000 kids affected. The most common form is LCA10, which accounts for 20 to 30% of these cases and is a result of a mutation in the CEP290 gene with no treatments right now available. Edit 101 targets this CEP290 mutation and by knocking it out, potentially eliminates this degradation in the photoreceptors, leading to not just a treatment, but a direct cure of LCA10. And to be clear, this CRISPR treatment is injected into the eye using AAV, short for Adeno-Associated Virus Vector Delivery, so it's an in vivo therapy. They will be announcing data from these trials in humans on Wednesday, September 29th, 2021 from 9.05 to 9.35 a.m. And here I'll put it up in big bold words so you can copy or screenshot this date down. You'll definitely want to keep up with this. And if you want updates on this, I'm sure you'll see it on the news, but you can follow my Twitter at CRISPR Investors if you would like. They will also be having a live webcast on Wednesday, September 29th, same day, at 11 a.m. following this report to review the presented data. And you can join with the link that I will be putting in the bio and also on their website, of course. In this treatment, Edit 101 is in phase one out of two clinical trials with already having seen their adult low dose and adult mid dose cohorts dosed. So this data is coming from them. But what's key, and there's even more support beyond this, but the company has proceeded to dosing pediatric patients with middle dose concentration and adults for high doses. Basically what this means is that the trials went well enough for them to proceed with giving their treatment to more patients. And that's a, well, duh thing to say, but important to clarify, and also not just more patients. These are kids that have been approved to receive this treatment in trials, something the IDMC, short for Independent Data Monitoring Committee, had to approve based on data from their adult low to mid-dose cohorts. So an independent committee looked at the data from Edit 101 and said, okay, I think from what we see here, it's safe to give to kids and beneficial. So for this to happen, in my opinion, and hopefully in your opinion also, the results from this would have to basically have no side effects and also have shown strong editing percentages demonstrating a benefit in these adults. And I'm not speaking in absolutes here. I'm not saying this means this was phenomenal. It may have turned out to have been, but I'm suggesting that it appears to have been either moderately successful up to very successful. So in that kind of range. So what else? What else is a hint? Things may have turned out very well for these patients. Well, if you go look on the careers page where they have job postings, they have a ton of positions they're looking to fill with a very large amount of positions in July and August posted. And when you're hiring like this, close to a bunch of data being released that's going to give them a lot of publicity, you're probably not going to get much interest if you're announcing disappointing results. Odds are they're looking to leverage the momentum from the PR they get to hopefully some impressive candidates as they expand their programs. And we'll talk about this after the trials, but according to their preclinical data, editing levels between 15 to 50% are expected to be clinically meaningful with their non-human primates at their mid-dose levels. And that was in their mid-level doses was well tolerated and had editing between that 15 to 50%. Now let's suppose the result is solid and there's great editing percentages and the patients showed positive improvements in their vision. 
it's going to be just as important that it's meaningful enough benefits for the FDA to justify the treatment, which yes, this is classified as a cure, but remember CRISPR is still in early innings. They've done great work here, and it may function as close to a cure as it is, but it's not 100% efficient. Hopefully, and as early signs indicate, it's enough to have a market impact on the patients and their eyesight, which at the end of the day, when you look past the money, that's what really matters. Now, a quick jump into edit stock. If you've been following it in the past year, you know it's been a wild ride. Going up massively in December of 2020 after the company released some strong preclinical data and overall CRISPR market was booming. And then in the first half of 2021, the stock completely reversed, sliding all the way from almost maybe 90, 100 bucks a share to a low of $31 a share. But one thing I will stress, and that's been extremely clear to me, is that since that time, aside from a correction in the stocks of highly speculative companies, Nothing has changed within Adidas Medicine or anything that was being speculated about them. The only thing that was a bit concerning was their chief scientific officer stepping down. But otherwise, things have been business as usual, even as the stock fell down a lot this year. And something that is pretty cool, but if you zoom out on the long-term chart since IPO in 2016, it's kind of bounced back to a flatline area from the IPO time. I mean, edit stock has been a depressing hold if you're a trader since IPO up until even points this year, even though the company has been slowly but surely innovating and progressing. This is something that many stocks that have done extremely well have shown. Look at Apple or Amazon or Tesla stock. I'm not saying edit is, Apple, is like this, but these stocks basically did nothing for years until a very rapid collection of value as investors realized uncertainty was turning into certainty. But as we have approached their first results from trials, something that has eluded them for years, yes, several years after when they expected to get their trials to start, you can see now the stock seems to have found its way back up close to highs of early 2021. Now, around $66 a share, a $4.5 billion market cap, kind of in the middle or lower middle pack compared to the other CRISPR companies right now, but trailing quite a bit compared to companies in similar stages. So Intellia and CRISPR Therapeutics, which are both around 10 billion or more, and Edit is uh, well less than half of that. And I think some of this stock increasing in the last few months has been due to speculation and pricing in that Edit 101 will in fact demonstrate some strong data in its initial mid-dose adult cohort with people buying in anticipation of that. And the signs are there, but depending how strong the results are, I do think the stock could potentially be up 50 plus percent following the announcement. If there's zero potential side effects and powerful improvements, then edit stock is likely going to see its status promoted to the likes of Intellia or CRISPR Therapeutics. And somewhere in between, we could see a varying response depending on market conditions and what the stock does in between. And of course, I don't like to speak in absolutes, so if for some reason there are some negatives to be sifted out, then yeah, the stock could go down quite a bit. It's a waiting game for now, and you may be watching this after the results, and if you are, odds are I've released a video breaking down the data, so go on my channel page and look for that. But for now, being an investor and doing your research pays off because eventually, your thesis on the company will bear fruit if it's correct, as many others also hope. We will find out soon. With that said, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.